Hey y'all, welcome back to What the OTPF Part 3. Last time we talked about domain and process as a whole, what they looked like, how they broke down, and why it was important. This time we're diving into domain into one of its subcategories, client factors. And under the umbrella of client factors, it further breaks down into values, beliefs, and spirituality, body functions, and body structures. We're gonna talk a little bit about the definition, so let's get started. The definition from the OTPF for client factor is a capacity, characteristic, or belief that reside within a person, group, or population. They can influence the client's performance overall. I think it's important to talk about the easier ones first, body functions and body structures. Body functions, the physiology, cardiovascular, neurology, those types of things. Um, body structures are going to look more like your anatomical features, the types of musculature we need to know, the types of bones we need to know based on injury, fractures. Those are all important to the client's function and performance and occupation. Um, they intertwine together when it comes to someone not only has a broken bone, but now they have arthritis and then they have joint pain from gout and not joint pain, you know what I mean. Maybe you don't, that's okay. <laughs> but my point is that they all interconnect, they all intertwine so that when the person is completing a task, we need to consider it all. The other piece that I find is more complex but very important to consider is values, beliefs, and spirituality. The reason those are important to our patients is because it's a big subsection of who they are. Um, if someone values very highly their religion and prayer, um, and you also maybe are the same religion, you can connect with that person maybe like no other therapist they've had before, so your rapport might be really strong. Maybe spirituality uh, or some type of belief system that they have put in place, they think is some sort of healing process. That might be really important to know. Maybe you don't believe that, but maybe they do, and maybe you can get people around them that can also support them through this new injury that they have. Um, I will say another piece with values and beliefs is talking about death um, can be really hard. A lot of people don't want to, but if we lean in as therapists and have those hard conversations with our clients, uh, we can find out that a lot of them, especially in the geriatric population like I see, have lost their, lost their spouses, their friends, their siblings. Um, some of them have lost, you know, all of their friends because one of my ladies was 101. She outlived everybody and that's pretty lonely and she talked about that a lot. And to be okay with having a hard conversation like that, it made us connect on an even deeper level. And so all of these client factors will be so deeply rooted in the person. Sometimes we have to spend a decent amount of time pulling them out to really see what's important to them to get to the core of who they are. And if we do that, our rapport will be better and their sessions will be better too because we are tailoring them to that person as a whole. And I think that's the most important piece to remember about client factors. I hope that helps. Next time we'll be discussing occupation, so I hope to see you then.